guys, I'm Emily and welcome to my channel. This is my first video and I'm very excited to be doing this. I'm not going to do a full unboxing of these two albums. I'm just going to show you my pre-order gifts that I received and then the main thing is in the title of this video so you already know. But I will also explain the story of it. So I will start with this one. Um, this was the Kill This Love comeback. I do own the Square Up comeback as well, uh, both of the album versions. However, uh, this time I did purchase through pre-order. So through, um, I bought this one on Amazon, the black version, and I bought it through YG Entertainment on Amazon. So that was a little easier to use. Um, but they did send this little uh, Lisa keychain. I wish it would focus. Come on. Okay, well it's not going to focus, I'm sorry about that. But there's my Lisa keychain, got that with pre-order, and I also got these two large postcards. So there's this one. And if I could grab it, there's this one. So I bought this one for about $50, I believe, on Amazon. And it shipped, this one came, this one took forever to come. Uh, it wasn't Amazon Prime or anything, it was just regular shipping, and I believe it took a week and a half to get here from Korea. So, um, in the YG box, it was a little beat up. It was, it, it took a hit. I don't have the box anymore, but, um, I didn't expect to be getting a package, so. Um, and then, a week after this, I was only gonna buy one version, but then I was like, well, I bought two before, and I promised myself I would buy every single version of their album. So if Blackpink comes back with four albums, I'm buying four versions of their album. Anyways, uh, this one I bought through K-Town for you. Um, I will link the website in the description. Um, so I bought the pink version and with their pre-order, if you ordered between um, April 3rd and April 23rd, you got these postcards. So they are signed, but they're like printed signed. So doesn't they're not really signed um but it's kind of different and this is a different image than the yg one it's just slightly different with their facial like i don't i don't know what i was going for our faces their faces are just slightly different um their emotions but they're still very pretty postcards so i have those and um now on to my story so, I got a notice from my post lady. I missed a package, apparently. So, I went to the post office today to see what it was. Well, postman came out with this. It had a K-Town sticker on top, and it had YG Entertainment. And yes, I know the box is torn apart. I pulled it apart in my car because I wanted to know what it was. I was very excited. And I'm just excited. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, anyways, I also ripped off my name. Well, I opened the box and there was a bubble wrapped album inside. Now, I didn't purchase this album. I had purchased this one with my own money. I buy everything with my own money. Um, but I had bought this and when you entered the pre-order contest with K-Town, you had an option, or not an option, but you were already entered to win um, 10 signed albums with all members and 20 signed posters by all members. Um, that's within the pre-order. So I believe there were 40,000 total pre-orders. So out of 40,000, you had 10 people that would win signed albums, 20 that would win signed posters. <sighs> I know. Very, very low chances of winning. I bought one album. I had no chance of winning. And I checked the winner's list on April 25th, and I didn't see my name. And I was so sad but I knew it was coming so I wasn't that sad I, I mean it would have been worse if I'd bought in like 300 albums like some people did um but I got the box so I was really confused um I had just bought winner's album from their last comeback or not well this current comeback and I thought it was maybe that but I had already received that from K-Town about three weeks no I don't remember how long ago exactly but I bought I got it like three days after the comeback anyways, or after shipment. I'm not sure. It was very quick. That's all I have to say. K-Town is very quick shipment. Oh, I did DHL as well. Um, it's a little bit more money, but trust me, worth it if you want your stuff right away. Anyways, I picked up this box, ripped it open, and inside was a signed black pink album. Now, I did put a sticky note over my last name. It does say my last name on there, which is so cool because it's, like, completely personalized for me. And it says to Emily and then my last name. 
So that's like so super cool. And then it has Lisa, Jenny, Jisoo, and Rose's signatures on the front. Now, I cried in my car when I opened this because it was the last thing in the world that I expected to ever get. And I called my mom, my aunt, because I had called them. I had just graduated, so I was trying to figure out what possibly it could have been, like a late graduation gift from a family, from my family out of state, or I just didn't know what it was. So I was calling around my family before I went to the post office. So I went and got it, called them, told them how excited I was, and yeah, um, I am. I already ordered a plastic case for it to protect it, but I just thought I'd share this. Um, I'm not meaning to brag or anything. I just, I wanted to share my excitement with other Blinks and show you guys that you don't need to buy 500 albums to win a contest. I bought one. So take a chance. I will link the website down below. Um, always take that chance because this is the last thing I ever expected. And I just, I really hope that someone else can win as well. I don't ever want to get, I mean, I would love another signed album, but at this point, I'd rather have someone who doesn't have one have one before I get another. But this means the absolute world to me that the girls held this and they signed this and it came to me. And I'm so thankful for it. And I'm thankful that Keytown for You is a nice K-pop website to purchase from. And I'm so happy that that was the first website I was introduced to and was able to buy from. So I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you, I'm sorry, I just hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching my video. Bye guys.